Today on Uncommonly Good MTG, we are playing with Demir, Poison, Control. And if you like those three words pushed together, then you'll find out right after this if this deck is pure evil. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I'm your host, who in high school was voted person most likely to start a cult, Dr. Yukon Sockett. It's not a cult, it's a lifestyle brand. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are too kind. Yukon Sockett. Word to your dear leader. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters, and I'm bringing to you a deck I found over on the Aether Hub called Demir Poison Control by our friend Tay Malice. Tay Malice, thank you once again. All right, so rather than going through the deck, I'm just going to go ahead and pause it right here so you can take a look at it. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, that's enough time, everybody. Let's get out there and crush some skulls. So let's say our prayers ahead of time. Let's crush our enemies. Let's see them driven before us and hear the lamentation of the women. Amen. All right, putting against swipes. One, two, three. Where are we going with this here? Each opponent gets a poison counter. Draw a card. Proliferate. Counter and... Let's just draw two cards. Alright, let's play this out a little bit on the, slow, on the faster side then. Let's draw a card. There we go. Draw two cards. We're drawing cards. Looks like we're just uh, playing the same deck. That's another poison counter for you. Nothing that goes against Planeswalkers. All right. Let's keep this up. Got a long way to go for nine. Seem to be losing the race. Oh, there we go. I didn't read Harvest's Planeswalker on it.
There we go. Got him up to eight. Okay, nothing else here proliferates. Killing his own guy. I got nothing to do. Those are instants, though. That should be nice. What does this do? Exile target creature has mana value three or less. Nothing. You get nothing. And I win. Suck it, mere match. Victory. I right, put against Zelgon. Zelgon. Bring me the utensil. One, two. Keep. I need to get some poison counters out there somehow. There we go. Give me a land. Alright, so these are instants. Start taking out some of his guys. Green, red, oh, we've put out guys. I'm actually quite surprised by this. I don't seem to have any creatures in this deck at all. Counter some spells. Nice if they actually had some poison counters to start off with. Yeah, put a creature out, dude. There we go. Yeah, we can start proliferating like crazy. Done. Is that really just one? An oil counter. So you can pop out three of them, huh? See, do we have any creatures at all? Not that I see.
There's a bunch of guys. All right. Oh, that's a whole lot of nothing good. You said this one I can... So with that one, I can go ahead and uh, cycle. So the four. He's up to five. Why well, just gotta keep up on the flip rates there? That's actually a lot of damage for me. Because I'm going to have to kill them all. And not take all the damage again. Uh, proliferate. What do I got left here? Three. Right, I'll take those two. I gotta wait to go after something when he puts it out. I am industry. What did he choose to pick here? Uh, Rhino with a shield counter on it. Well, I can't target him now because he's got the. Sh no, he's got the shield counter. I can still target him. Let's see how that works there. Done. Come on, become a treasure token. You shoot my poor Vraska. Oh well. Proliferate. Proliferate. All right, so that's a counter spell. Cool. Yeah, I decided to, to pop the fable up by one so we could bypass that step so he wouldn't be able to make use of it. Come on, play something I can counter.
Let's put it out as blue right now. It's fine. We got a lot of blue. We might need it black. Counter target spell. Counter target spell. We just need him to cast something then. For your less proliferate, just counter it. No proliferate. You need to stop countering sp or casting spells. Do I got anything to bring back? Planeswalker, right? I should just chill out. I need to counter spell stuff, so I need to do. Cast it! Jeez, people, come on. This guy's getting super bored. He doesn't have anything better to do. All right, let's go. She's got lots of loyalty. Let's just go for the proliferate. And uh, yeah, that were cool. Yep. Do I got everything I need? Yeah, I can kill him next turn. Let's just chill. We're fine. He's going to mess around with Vraska a little bit. But uh, I've got the ability to just kill him. It's called Prologue to Phoresis. In a coffin. Buried there for 22 days. He was recovered by the proud troops of Phoresia. After a brief and stunning ex experiment... He was returned to the field. Stronger. Better. Faster. That's my prologue. To Phoresis. Dude, I am tapped out. You got three choices. And you can attack with a guy. I don't know what you're thinking about. I believe that you are now roping because you know you've lost. Because there's nothing you could do to keep Vraska from popping off a second time, which will kill you. Let's take a look at Vraska while we're here. I wish we could see her lower body there. I want to see that snake tail. The weird part is it looks like she's got regular thighs. And then it becomes a solid snake tail after that. That seems highly inefficient. I guess the Phyrexians are just making do with the best that they can. She probably had legs before. And they just thought, you know what would be even cooler? Snake tail. 
Yeah, let's make her into like a like a snake mermaid. She have glow lights in her scales so that she look cool in the club. That's pretty much all they do there on Phyrexia. They turn people into Phyrexians and they go to the club. All right, there you go. Pop. Ten. That's all you get. Victory. All right, put it against Jim. Eight, eight. One, two. I'm going to mulligan. I don't like two on this. Three, that's four. Yeah. I'll keep that. What do I get rid of? Uh, this one. We'll keep that guy from sprouting like a weed. Proliferate, proliferate. We don't have any poison guys to start off with. Not getting anywhere. Go cycle, see if we get something good. Nope. Okay, well, this is a uh, three. Not gonna do us any good. Has to be three or less. Cancel, cancel. Gotta wait until I get some poison counters on this guy. We're not getting anything. Nothing. Lots of mana, though. I got tons of it. This and uh sure. We should get him to start, get him poison counters to off with. That's not enough. All right, there's four to me. They got that guy. Put this out. There's to take out another guy.
You gonna give up? That's right. And we'll just draw a card. We're not doing good. It's our only big hope. Yeah, this is gonna get. Did it actually work? Yes! Ho oh, oh. ho! I was gonna say if we got ourselves a try land. But being able to pay two of those at the same time was fantastic. Excellent. All right. Let's go look for some stuff. What's this really going to do for us? Draw a card. Draw two cards. See, now I gotta be reactive to everything. Cycle. Prologue. I'm just going to chill. I got five mana. All right, we'll do this. Wait for it to come out. Yep, he's got two. That's going to help us out. All right, I'll just have to kill it. Proliferate. All right, we got three mana. And this is the best. Cool. And we win. Woo, a victory. All right, playing against Captain McCrack. Captain McCrack. I feel like there's something more there. One, two, three. It's actually a really decent hand. Slow. Pull it out. You know, you used to be able to come out of the dirt so much quicker when you, you know, had a little less pounds on you there. I don't want to fat shame, but uh, you were having a hard time pulling yourself out. May, may not be the best thing for you. Okay, Vasquez Fall is really what I want to start off with, so I'm giving that poison counter. Everything is kind of proliferate after that. Boy, talk about slow mana. I think this guy wants to be just as controlling as I do. And we're done. I just gotta chill. I mean, really, I gotta start off with a poison counter. This guy's trying to do the same to me. Is mine an instant?
Uh, see, we are done. It's all proliferated at this moment. I got him to get him. He's got to put a creature out. It's my problem. That's the only way I can get this thing started. Nowhere. Okay, I'm going to go for it myself here. Uh, there we go. There's a point of calendar. Oh, I have to discard now. There, that helps. Yeah, you're going to counter spell yourself. Try this one out. He's got two mana. Can't do anything about it. Resolve. Sorcery, instant, okay. Counter spell. It's got a lot of mana though. Grab here. Prologue. Don't really need mana. Uh, he's not going to put any creatures out. That one actually at least proliferates. I mean, he's never going to put any creatures out. I have to discard three cards now. Is there anything else I can play at this point? Not really. In turn. There's one thing to kill. There's another guy, which gives us something else to kill.
up to five. Ah, uh, that's gonna be pretty much everything. I can still counter spell, I think. Yeah, I got two blues left. That's good. Jeez, people. Okay, draw two. There. Yeah, we're good. Sorcery, I cannot play it on his turn. Sorcery, exile, it's a sorcery. Here's an instant, though. Ah, that's not going to help at all. Alright, these are all sorceries. Throw that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's just draw two cards. Let's do that. I should have drowned with Icarim is what I should have done. Ah, I wasn't thinking. I was just so excited I could do something on my turn. Hey, you want to go dancing, Queen? Whoa, okay, fine. Alright, so number one, let's kill that guy. How much do I got here? One, two. I need four, so I got three more, absolutely. Kill all of those guys. Okay, these don't do anything for us, neither is this. All right, we got him up to seven. Boy, this is a slow climb. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a lot less than seven. Ah, uh, more proliferates. Ah, Vraska, that's what I want. Eight. Hey, I'll counter whatever, but hopefully there'll be three or less.
Let's play the Blood Price. Nine. And we win. Victory. All right, David Tatum, this is another deck for you. I'm sure you loved it. Uh, this was not what I expected. All right, so uh, Demir Poison Control. You know, I thought Demir Control, that sounds fantastic. Poison? Yeah, sure, why not? Some poison is going to be in there too. This was nothing but just control and then try to get some poison on there so that you could proliferate, 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 proliferate. I mean, there is only one permanent like in the entire deck and that's uh, Vraska. Vraska, that is it. Other than that, it's just lands, man. This is a weird and rough deck to play. And when I first started playing it, I thought, yeah, no way this deck is going to work out. It did. It did work out. It was crazy. So uh, I played it, it looks like, five times. I've got four wins, and I lost to um, a Simic deck that pretty much played the same cards. I mean, they weren't... Yeah, I mean, it was it was green and blue poison with a lot of proliferation. So, uh, yeah, and I think they... Yeah, it was just... it was. I think they got to go first. I, you know, I mirror decked it, and I kind of lost. Still, this deck ended up holding it together. It just it was pretty amazing not having a permanence and yet being able to win the game on the regular. All right, so is this deck competitive? I don't, I can't believe that it is. I can't believe it. Yet my play has it at an 80% win rate right now. So I'm not going to give it an A+, plus, let's put it that way. But I am going to say that it's competitive right now. I'm going to say it's competitive, okay? Secondly, is this deck fun? Well, okay, I'm going to say no. From Dr. Suckett's perspective, this is not a fun deck. It takes away everything that you want to play magic cards with by just killing anything that's put out. So that sucks. And if I was playing it against it, I would have given up on playing against this deck a long time ago. It is boring that is not it's not fun that way it's not a fun deck lastly is it interesting unfortunately yes yes it is because there are no creatures there are no artifacts there are no enchantments it is just instants and sorceries instants and sorceries and one planeswalker and all you're doing is just trying to get a, a poison counter out there and then proliferate, proliferate, proliferate. Control the board until you got them nailed at 10. It, it's an interesting idea. I'm going to give it high for the interest rates, okay? So um, the question is, on its three marks, what did, it, what did it get? It got competitive, not fun, but very interesting. I'm going to give this deck an A- minus on the Dr. Suck it scale, A minus, just because it is an interesting and a competitive deck, but I can't believe it's as competitive as it's showing out to be. And I'm I'm gonna say no. The fun factor, this is like the antithesis of fun. Yeah, man. Um, so there you go, an A minus. You know, if you're the kind of person that just likes you know bringing the plague on people countering everything they do and for those things you can't countering just destroying it then this is the deck for you it's got some chops but man i i just i just don't got it so i if you decide if you decide to play with this deck i hope that you have more fun with it than i did all right that's all for now if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like and subscribe from all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day.
See you next time, Space Cowboys. Later.